Okay, okay. We're going for here. We're going for here. Battle bear out. Hey guys, before we get into the video today, I just want to say first off, thank you so much for clicking on the video and that we're also on the road to 1000 subscribers. So if you guys are new here or have been around for a while and just aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and joining the Discord as it is the best way to support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alrighty guys. Gunshy Moray back here with another episode and today we got some info to share. So, as you guys might have heard, Arc 2, or was it Arc Ascended will be launching here later this year, about the third quarter. And the Unreal 5 upgrade is not going to be a free upgrade to Arc Survival of Fall like we all thought it was. So, I'm making changes to the plans of this series. Originally, it was supposed to be we're going to get all the creatures and then do all that stuff. But as of right now, things have changed in such a way where I just want to complete the Arc story entirely before Arc Ascended comes out in the Unreal 5 update. So we're kicking it into high gear, guys. I mean, we are going to be busting out everything we can. And by that is in today, we're going to be getting ready for a boss fight. So today we're going to be going after two artifacts. We're going after the artifact of the pack and the artifact of the devourer. Because artifact of the brute is a water cave and we're going to have to go tame some water creatures for that. So we're just going to go pack up Deinoticus and Battle Bear. Um, and we're going to actually hop right into this. I'm already set up. Okay, I got everything packed. I got food. Is there anything here I need to throw off of me? Couple things. <laughs> need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. I can probably go put away the, the extra sniper rifle here. And I don't use you at all. You can go in here. Uh, blah. Don't need that bear trap. Uh, Acker saddle, you can go in there. And I'll just take my water container. So I'm going to make sure I am full on water and food. Because the first one we are going for is the Artifact of the Devourer. I am also doing one other thing. Um, so, as you guys see there, I still went and tamed up the three acros I need. We're still going to tame up some creatures, but the creatures that we are taming are basically going to be the Arc Edition ones. Because those guys are endgame creatures. So, I just feel like it's going to be proper and seems how they do got some other ones coming out here soon. Okay, we are here at Carnivore Island. Now, we just need to get to the cave. Hopefully there's nothing too bad. It looks like mostly what's on this island right now is Argentavis's T-Rexes and Carnos. Oh, no, there's Carnos as well. There's Carnos everywhere. But it didn't look like there was that many Rexes. There are, though. Is that an Alpha Megalodon? It is. But here's our cave. We're going in. Come on, Des, please tell me you fit. Okay, yep. You're coming in. Now, there is a puddle here at the end that we really can't uh, take you through. But I'm bringing you in the cave as far as I can to make sure you're safe. Okay. Now, here comes the second part of our journey, Des. Well, you stay here. We're going to go to the other side. And we're going to go look. Now, luckily, no piranhas spawn in this water. Could you imagine that? You hop in this cave and the first water here is just piranha infested. Okay. Come on, battle bear. I wanna... Okay, we got two ways we could do this. One of them being, I could jump off with all my dinos and cryopods and get straight to the bottom. Just getting back up might be a little bit more tricky. Technically, I do got my cinema crops with me still.
But there are explorer notes in this cave I want. Okay, I've come to a decision. We don't need the explorer notes anymore. Because we're not going for 100% completion. We're just trying to complete the story now. Okay, okay. We're going for here. We're going for here. Battle bear out. I think this is going to be the easiest artifact out of them all, to be honest. Devour, because I might just fly back up with my Sinnoh. I mean, if it's possible for me to just fly back up out of here, I will. Oop, bats. I almost topped off right as these guys got to me. Okay. And we need to get the artifact. Okay. Boom. That's it. Let's go. Gotta get you crowd up and then we'll start ascending. Okay, we're ascending the cavern now. Ooh. My one thing is, I don't want to make any bats mad as I go up. Oh my god, did we do this without make? Oh, that was the least amount of fighting ever. Oh, that's perfect. What is in here? Oh, you're just stuff that battle beer uh, scavenged from hitting, but alrighty. That is one cave done. And we are flying on out. Boom! Lag! And it's fixed. There we go. So, now the next one we're going to go for is Artifact of the Pact. Okay, so the next cave for the Artifact of the Pact should be also really easy thanks to my Cinema Crops. Um, it's basically broken thanks to him, these caves. Okay, I finally found the cave. It took me a hot minute. I mean, this is it. Alright, oh, it's loading, and I'm gonna land here. We're not latching, we're landing. Land. Land. Thank you. Leaving you right here. And I'm gonna reload the shotgun. We're gonna hop on Battle Bear. I brought Dinoticus with us just in case. But I think Cinny, the cinema crops here. It's kind of got stuff on lockdown. Okay. Um, it's still, like, really tight in here. I'm hoping this isn't the toxic cave. No, that one should be the redwood cave. The swamp cave that's in the redwoods. That's that one. This should be just a normal water cave. Okay, Chungus. This is where you got too big. Oh, I don't have your saddle. Get in the crapod, get in the crapod, get in the crapod, get in the crapod. Okay. If you don't know it, I'm basically like. For some reason. Ah, ah. Alright, yeah, Dire Bear, you are too chungus for this. He's a thick boy! Oh, I need to eat. Got more snakes up ahead, but yeah. Dire Bear is a thick boy. Last onyx. Oh, there we go. Can we get in deeper? We're looking for... What did I just run past? Oh! Arthropleura! That dude's gonna mess up my gear. I need to get him. Okay. 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 Uh, this damn bat is probably a 150. No, it's a 95. Uh, get off me, Arnie's. Thank you. Let's. We're gonna head this way. Which is actually be an immediate dead end. 
That was correct. Going this way. Damn it! Battle Bear, why do you gotta be so thick? Okay, made it through. Got some stuff over here. I don't think this is where I wanted to go. No, this is. The, I think this is the other area where, uh, where we came, where we could have jumped down. We went around. Yeah. We got two snakes in here. It's this onyx I'm more worried about. Rabies, you know. Okay. A bear is not supposed to be in here. I'm telling you that. Do not bring a bear. Bring like a dire wolf or something. Something smaller. Sabertooth. Even. Dinoticus. Get out. Oh. There you are. They're in the walls. Damn, how deep is this cave? I feel like I just keep going deeper and deeper. Now that I think I found the bottom. Hello there, scorpion. Get off me. No, go away. Don't want anything to do with you. Okay, so... We should be good here for the next maneuver. As long as I don't fall, we should be good. So, we're literally skipping half the cave right now. <laughs> okay, now, artifact. Oh no. Um. You know what? Whistle, uh... I can't whistle aggressive? Really? Okay, guys. There is the artifact. Got rid of those Dinoticus. Or not that kind of not against the bats. Onyx. We got these guys. We got these guys. Um, we still got a lot of time in the episode. We're only halfway to the right time. You know what we might do? We're gonna prep for next episode. We're gonna go and get us uh what are they called? Megalodons. Okay, now we just gotta get out of this cave. Which I don't think will be that tricky. Just run up this way. Okay. I forgot how fast the dire bears start to run if you just constantly are sprinting and don't run into anything. Oh, what are we caught on? Do we find, like, the one thing that we can get caught in there? Yep. And this is where your chuggy chungus got stuck. So you gotta cry you back up.
Okay, I'm set up for Megalodons now. I got my kibble, I got my tranks. We're ready. Now, the problem will be is trying to find a nice high level. Because I don't see a lot of Megalodons here on the surface. I mean, there's one. What you at, my boy? Okay, use a 25 female. Sorry for calling you my boy. I guess technically I could also just do this. And look for them, but I don't see any. Technically, also why I jumped in the water is I can easily get out pretty quick. Watch. Sinos can fly you out of the water. Come here, Des. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and try and find me a nice high level Megalodon. I'm not betting on anything good in stats. I'm just hoping for a high level. So that way the stats are somewhat good. But it's not going to be like focused like through breeding or anything. No cap, my guys. I legit found a 150. It's in the dumbest place possible. It's in this little cove. Oh, okay. I, I just need to get him trank now. So, it shouldn't be too hard. He doesn't seem to want to attack me for some reason. I don't know why. I have the high ground now. Okay, you are taking some damage, but you're not even halfway on the trank yet. E. I wish there were better tranks for you. Um, do I? I don't got any shock tranks on me or my rifle. I was gonna say if I'm shooting up through the water, I might be able to hit him with shock tranks, but no. This is probably the best I'm going to be able to do. He's coming back over here to Dez. I'm sorry, my man. I'm trying not to kill you. Okay. I'm starting to see a lot of blood. We're going to back off here and check again. Okay. You're good. You're good. You can take some hits. You, you're you going to pass out before I kill you. You're definitely going to pass out before I kill you. I'm, I'm hoping you pass out before I kill you. I'm sorry. Please, please, please don't die. Oh, you're so bloody. You're so bloody. Ooh, okay. Let's check again. Let's check again. I don't, I don't like how bloody this guy's getting. Um. He's gone belly up. He's, he's twitching. He's twitching. He's out. He's out facing straight up. Can I land on the side of him? I can. That's perfect. I don't have to get back in the water. I forgot my kibble at the house. Okay. We're back. I got my kibble. Let's go check on this guy. Okay, he's doing good. He's doing good. You could definitely style up a bit more. But that also gives me time to get stuff for... Uh, an elixir. Okay, do I got enough for an elixir yet? I do not. I keep on thinking I have enough and I don't. I think this guy should be enough blood. Were you enough blood? I keep on hitting that button. Yes, okay. Elixir crafted. Okay, I think I've let this guy starve up enough. I almost forgot the elixir on you. I need the elixir before I give him food. Okay. And. Bloop. Thank you. Uh, I... Okay. Food. Boom. Boom. Nine. There we go. That's a megalodon. So, what I'm going to be doing is probably going to go and level this guy up. And then next episode, we'll go hop in the cave and 
what I have planned is I was going to originally just reuse the Rex army from over there at Green Ob, but I also just realized I also realized something when I was thinking that those guys got down to the lowest 2000 health. All right. And they're not imprinted. So zero imprint. So for the Megapithecus here, I'm just going to make another batch of 17 Rexes or yeah, 17 Rexes, two Deodon, and we're going to bring in Backbone again. And then hopefully we can keep all that that stuff good and going for the dragon. And after the dragon and we're on the Overseer, we might combine both armies. I'm not expecting Green Ob army to last long. Um, especially seeing how they do not have imprint, but they might be the brunt force to help us get through the major guys into the Alpha.